Hello, let's do some math for fun. And here we have these two equations. And as you can see, both of the left-hand sides are just x to the x plus third power. For the first one, though, we have 2. And for the second one, we have 3. And you might be wondering, if we have a method for the first one, can we just use the same method for the second one? Yes, but I have other things to say as well. So anyway though, please pause the video and try them first. So this right here, and Randy is watching us, right? Okay, so let's do the first one first, even though the second one is actually easier because the answer is nicer. Anyway though, let's have a look. In order to do this one, we actually have to use the Lambert W function along with the natural log. So the Lambert W function is called the product log as well. So we have to use both of the logs. Anyway, this is how we can go about it. Let's take the natural log on both sides first. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to put this power, x plus third power, in the front. And when we do that, we will see we have the x to the third power here. And then the base right here was the ln x, so we just keep that. And we still have the ln2, like so. Pretty good so far, right? All right. I will have to remind you guys of what the Lambert W function is. All right. So now, here's the deal. For this equation, I have to have an e, right? All right, so let's take a look at x to the third power. I'm going to purposely write this as e to the ln x to the third power. Is this the same as that? Yes, because the e and ln cancel, of course, right? And after that, we can also bring the 3 to the front, just like what we did over there with the power. So let me actually put that down right here. So this is the same as that. And you see, we still have the ln x in the front. Let's multiply with that. This is how we can squeeze out the e, all right? And then on the right-hand side, we have ln2, like this. Now, can we apply the Lambert W function? No, not yet. Why? Because you see, we have a 3 times ln x right here, but here we do not have a 3. It's okay though, because we can just go ahead and multiply the 3 right here, and just do it on both sides. And this is so much better, because this and that are the same now, we can just apply the Lambert W function. So let me do it right here, and let me also do it right here. And after we have done that, well, what do we get? We'll just get this part, right? Just the fish part right here. So namely, we get 3 times ln x. That is all. And then the right-hand side, we'll just keep it as w of 3 times ln2, like this. And then, of course, you can just divide the 3 on both sides. So we see ln x is equal to 1 third w of 3 ln2. And finally, just do e to this power, e to that power, so we get x is equal to e raised to the power of 1 third w. Okay, I'm sorry, I know. Because I'm also doing the videos for my Chinese channel. And then in Chinese, we actually say 3 out of 1 instead of 1 third. So, um, well, 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 yeah. anyway, w of 3 times ln2 like this. So that's pretty much the answer in exact form approximately 1.3367, all right? So here is our answer, right, to that equation. Pretty good, huh? Well, well, if you look at this right here, what's the only thing we have to change? Well, if you look back here, right here we have 2, yeah? This right here is a 2. And then the 2 is pretty much just right here, and the answer is right here. So it seems like we can just answer the question as what? That x is equal to e, and do we still have the one third? Yes, because the left hand side is still the same. So we still have the one third. Okay, I know. <sighs> anyway, one third, and then w of three. So again, all these parts are the same. The only thing is different is just the two becomes right here. So here we have the 3, we will have 3 times ln 3 right here. So if you want to have the answer within the Lambert W function, then this right here could be the answer. And that's it, right? But as I told you, I have some other things to say, so here we go. All right, here is the deal. 
this is the interesting part about this kind of equation. Whenever we have x to the x to some power, and that's equal to this. Notice this and that are the same. Whenever we have this and that numbers are the same, we can do the following, all right? And in fact, it doesn't matter how many x that you have, as long as it's finite, you can always do the following. So let's do some observations right here. First, let me put this down for you guys, right? I will start with 3 is equal to x to the third power. All right, good, huh? Okay, so far so good. And now I would like you guys to look at this. If I put down 3, that's equal to x. But if you look at the 3 right here, well, earlier, what did I say? I said the 3 is equal to x plus third power. So can I put down this as 3 equals x plus third power? Yes, right? So I'm just going to enter x to the third power right here for the blue streak. And you see, where did this come from? This came from that. And how would you find a solution for this? You can just do the cube root on both sides. So yes, in fact, this answer right here is nicely equal to the cube root of 3. And that's a much better answer. And can you do more? Yes, of course. So let me see. 3 is still equal to 3. And then we have the x right here. And I have the x x in blue. But let me put down this 3 in black. And we see 3 is equal to x to a third power per our discussion earlier. And the truth is, you can just put down x to the third power right here to replace this string black. So if you have this equation, in fact, you also get the same solution, namely the cube root of 3, because they all came from here. Pretty cool, huh? So this is kind of like an iteration uh, method to do this kind of things, which is very cool. And if you don't like this too much because you think this is just like working backwards or so, well, a lot of times in algebra, in math in general, you actually kind of work backwards to, or maybe just make some observations and then just say, hey, that's actually the answer. All right, so perhaps if you don't like this, then here we can just do the observation too. Have a look, we have x to the x to the third power, and uh, this right here is equal to three, all right? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to raise both sides to the third power. Huh, crazy, huh? And now take a look right here. We have x to the power of x plus third power and then raised to the third power. So we can just multiply the powers and we get x for the base and then we'll just put down a 3 times x to the third power like this. Well, the truth is the order of these two powers doesn't matter because you are just multiplying the powers anyway. I can actually write this part as x to the third power first and then raised to the x to the third power, like that. And then the right hand side, I know this is 27, but I'm just going to write it down as 3 to the third power, like this. Now, how many things do we have on the left hand side? If you just look at this part. Two things, technically, this and that. How many things do we have on the right hand side? Two things, this and that. And the truth is, x to the x to the third power is equal to 3. That equation only has one solution. You can just look at the graph of that. So, in order for this to be true, all you have to make sure is, you have to make sure that x to the third power has to be equal to 3. Namely, this part has to be equal to that because you know, they are all equal anyway. So finally, you can say x is equal to the cube root of 3, just like what we said earlier, right? So, that's very, very cool. And again, this kind of equation is so cool because no matter how many x that you have, as long as it's finite, and all the way right here, if this number is the same as that, you can always do this. And now, before we go, I just want to tell you, hmm, this right here didn't really tell me this right away. Well, I will just show you guys a quick property of the Lambert W function so that you can actually see this is indeed equal to the cube root of 3. All right, have a look. Here, I will just write it as e, and then we have the uh, one circle, one, one circle, one circle, one circle, one over 3, yeah? Well, let's see. We have the Lambert W function 
right? And then this is 3 times ln3, like this. What I'm going to do is, like that. We have natural log of 3 right here already. I'm going to focus on this 3. Right? I'm going to focus on this 3. Right? So have a look. I will write this as e to the one third of w of for the 3, I will put it as e to the ln3. Can we do that? Yes, just like that, yeah? And then we have this ln3, so I will just put it down right here. Instead of the w, what can we get? We'll just get ln3, yeah? So this is just going to be e to the 1 third, and then all this becomes ln3. And we can, of course, put this right here, and E and L cancel, so in the end, we get 3 to the 1 third power, which we just end up with the cube root of 3. Very, very good, isn't it? Alright, this right here is so cool, but this is just a warm-up for, for a video that I'm about to do for you guys. As you can see, this and that, if you would like, you can use the same method, right? But that's not the case if you have infinitely many x. Well, Stay tuned. Anyway, bye.